Oops, I have two forks. <laughs> Good morning everybody! Today is another special episode because we're going to do another food review. As you can see, I'm still in my jammies because we're going to review some breakfast food. Today I have three varieties of Delimondo corned beef. But today specifically, we're only going to review the Delimondo Taba corned beef. You can actually get these from your grocery stores. However, not all grocery stores carry them. And I didn't want to go outside, so I just ordered them online. If you want to order them yourselves, I will leave the link in the description box down below. So the top corned beef is priced at 180 pesos and this is 380 grams. I actually did some comparison with some traditional tapas. So I saw that some are almost 400 pesos and they're actually like 450 grams. So they have more in terms of volume for the traditional tapa which is in the freezer section. However, I noticed that they could also be more expensive. So I actually want to try the canned variety. I'm actually very curious what this looks like. Um, I don't know if this would come out as big chunks of tapa or I was also wondering if you know the Rodix corned beef so if they would turn out like shredded beef so we will see together. So let's pour the contents out of the can to see what it looks like. So as you can see there's grease so it's a bit oily. Um, it's not exactly shredded corned beef but it's also not the traditional tapa slices. So as you can see, it's a bit more like a chunky corned beef variety. I don't exactly eat corned beef out of the can, but for the video's sake, I will try it for you. It's a bit masebo because I haven't heated it up yet. Maybe microwaving it would be a better idea. Bon appetit! So I can taste the traditional tapa taste. So it's a bit sweet, it's a bit salty, it's a bit sour. Not really sour, just a hint of sour. It's really beefy, a bit like corned beef, but with a tapa flavor. I wouldn't recommend it out of the can since the grease or the sebo could be bothersome for some. So what we will do is we're going to cook this first and prepare a hearty breakfast. So let's prepare our tapa corn beef. So it's really easy. Ikikisa lang natin siya. So I'm just adding some canola oil. Really little amount. Kasi the tapa corn beef itself is already super oily. So I have with me some onions. So for our hearty breakfast, I've prepared some tomatoes and onions as well to go along with the tapa. I also have some sinangag and some egg so that we would have tap silo. Kasi nga diba, we're trying to make like a traditional Filipino breakfast. Okay, I think I can add the tapa now. Now I don't really want to add all the grease. So if you want to do what I'm doing, pwede yung piliin lang sa. And wag yung nalang ilagay lahat ng greasy part. The smell is very similar to how tapa smells like. So what I plan to do na lang is to try as much as possible to remove all the liquid so that it's more concentrated and feels more like tapa. So I'll just continue cooking the tapa and then have some breakfast. Since I mentioned that we're doing a traditional Filipino breakfast, I have everything with me. I have the sausawan, which is the tomatoes and onions. I have coffee with me. And just like the telenovelas that you see on TV, there's always that orange juice. But since I don't have orange juice, there's na kong pineapple juice. Diba dun sa mga palabas sa TV, they always have juice. And of course, I have my sinangag. 
I have my papa and I have my deep fried, uh, no, not deep fried, and I have my fried egg. So basically, you have a tapsi log with the sausawan and the coffee and the pineapple juice. Let's eat! So, let's try first the tapa on its own. So this is still hot. So I think this would be a more fair judgment of what it tastes like. It's very beefy. I like the top of flavor. It's not super sweet. It's not super salty. It's very chunky. So I was expecting something like Rodix, yung durug durug na, na tapa. But this is actually chunkier than Rodix. However, the taste is quite similar. Mas matamis ng ako yung Rodix. So at least the vibe gives me that sense of nostalgia, going to UP, eating with my UP friends. Ganun yung feels. So if you're missing some tapa from Rodix, I think this could be a good substitute. Durug durug yun na lang if you want the durug durug na tapa. Now let's eat it with the sinangat. And the egg. So I have some garlic rice with me or the sinangag. It is so perfect with the sinangag. Because, diba, sometimes overwhelming yung super beefiness. And with the sinangag, at least the bite gives something else. Hindi yung puro beef lang. At least may carbs naman. Now, let's try it with my sausawan. So, I have some tomatoes. I have some uncooked onions. And then, I have the tapa. And the garlic rice. So, as you can see, this is a really big subo. I love it. The freshness of the tomatoes and the uncut onion. Super bagay sa dun sa tapa. This is usually our sides or our sausawan when we have tapa. Really good. So let's recap. In terms of convenience, I would give this a 9 out of 10. 9 kasi hindi siya super madaling hanapin sa grocery stores kasi not all grocery stores would carry the top of variety of the Del Mondo corned beef. However, once you already have the canned version at your home, super dali niya lang lutuin. You just open the can and then you just gisa. Kasi diba, hindi mo na kailangan mag defrost if you're really hungry, if you're really craving for something, super madali siyang i-prepare. For the price, at 180 pesos for 380 grams, I think I would give this an 8. So, hindi siya yung pinakamurang corned beef. And hindi rin naman siya yung pinakamahal na tapa. So, for me, it's just sacks lang. So, diba? But actually, if it's just sacks lang, it's maybe 7. So, hindi naman siya super mura. Hindi rin siya super mahal. If you want na makatipid sa sarili mong tapa, maybe you could make your own tapa. But for the convenience, I think 7 is a fair score. For the taste, I think I may give this an 8 out of 10, mainly because hindi siya yung pinaka favorite na lasa ko ng tapa. However, I know that some people might like the taste of this. So, depende kasi yan eh, diba? Some people would like the tapa na mas salty, some yung parang on the sour side, some on the sweeter side. So, I think it's based on my personal preference, so 8 out of 10. However, if you're talking about how flavorful it is, it's really flavorful. If it's just based on the amount of flavor that it has, I may even give it a 10. Kasi unang kagat mo pala, super malasa na siya. So, that's pretty much it for this video. So, that's Telemondo Tapa Corn Beef. If you like videos like this, please let me know in the comments below. And as you know, I still have the adobo variety and the caldereto variety. So if you would like me to try those varieties, please let me know. As usual, the link to this item will be in the description box down below. Please follow me on all my socials, Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook at Totally Alvin. I will devour the rest of this tap to love. Thank you for watching. I will see you next week. Bye! <laughs>